Hi guys, great to see you. If you're new to school, my name is Tim and I'm the vicar here at St. John's. We've got this beautiful church and we have these words that spell love in front of the altar. Now look, I've got something here. And this is a pretend bit of money. It's a million dollar note. I don't know if you can see it. Look, I'll bring it right up to camera so you can see. And this says, in God, I think it says on here, the United States of America, and normally on the American money, or it does say it in the back, says, in God we trust. The thing is, do we trust God with everything? You know, I trust God, well, I try to trust God with everything. And um, when you trust God with everything, he fills you with hope. Because he fills you with a sense that no matter what situation you find yourself in, there is always hope. And I love that. I love it that God can fill me with hope that situations can change because he loves us. So look, I've got this money here. I'm going to bring it right up to the camera so you can see. And I'm going to magically change it for you. So look, watch carefully. Watch the money change. I'll bring it really close so you can see the money. Ready? Watch my hands. The money will never go out of your sight. But look at that. It looks like it's changed already. Look. There it is. Now it's a pretend million dollar English bill. So we went from American to English. Now, the reason why I didn't do that with real money is I haven't actually got a million dollar English note. But actually, the million dollar question, or the million pound question, is does God love me? And when he loves you, he wants you to be filled with hope. And that means that in any situation we find ourselves in, God can bless us. Now, I just want you to imagine, you know, when you have real money, right, when you have real money, that real money is just like this, it's just a piece of paper. But what gives that money currency? What gives that money worth? Because you, really, when you go to the shop with a five or a ten pound note, all you're taking is a bit of paper, right? Or, or with the new money, you're taking a bit of plastic. But when you go to the shop, what, what, when you hand that over, what gives it its currency is the government gives it its value and currency. And therefore, they hand over goods because it's worth something, right? Well, let me tell you, it's God that gives you your value and currency because he made you. And it's, the Bible says we're made in the image of God. And that means that if we're made in the image of God, we can have all hope. So just imagine that this was a real million pound note. In fact, I don't think they have a million pound note, but just work with me. Now, if God gives this million pound note its currency and its value, if I squash it and crush it, even when I open it, it still has its value. And how about if I shouted it and said, you're a silly note, you'll never be anything in life. It doesn't affect the note because God gives it value and currency. And if I spit on it or stand on it or get it grubby, it doesn't matter. Same with you. No matter what happens to you in your life, you've never lost your value in the eyes of God. And that's always uh, a message to us, that when God values us, we can be filled with hope. And that's one of our thoughts over the next few weeks. You've been doing some of these uh, Christian values, and one of them is hope. That we hope that God is always, we have hope in faith, that God is always working on our behalf in every situation. So I just pray that for you, that you would know that God loves you. No matter what happens, you've never lost your value in the eyes of God. And you can put all your hope in him. I'd love to pray for you. Dear Lord, please bless all our children in our school. Please bless them and keep them safe. Bless their mums and dads and their families. Bless their friends and would you bless all our teachers as well. And Lord, I pray that you protect us from this virus 
and that we can get on with learning and enjoy learning from our teachers and enjoy spending time in each other's company, safe and sound. In Jesus' name, amen.